Boy, oh boy, it is another great way to kick off the vlog. Uh, I have found a few cassettes, few CDs, and some videos. Let's start off with the CDs. First of all, we have a very cool Nine Inch Nails song. Now, if people do know who Vine Source is and followed him very early, uh, he used to say that basically a corruption sounded like a Nine Inch Nails song. This is just a freebie, The Downward Spiral. I've never heard Nine Inch Nails, and I know they're heavy metal, I think. I'm not sure which genre they are, but still pretty cool. And now we get on to the more stranger stuff. You know I'm strange, because hey, we have a box and a banjo Christmas. This is basically a CD of banjo, and I think they're called squeeze boxes. So if you know the Who squeeze box, that's what they're referring to. Price of this was three ninety five back in the day. I only paid fifty p for it. Discs in great condition. Next we have the Delta Accordion Band Party Favorites. Oh yeah, of course I'm going to have like a band thing. Duh, because I like accordions. Accordions are cool, okay? They're really cool things. Next we have Delta Accordion Band Party Time. The only ones I don't like are the Irish ones or sing along because usually you'll have people in the background singing along or they'll be singing. I don't like those ones, but normal ones they're okay. That deals with the CDs. Let's deal with the cassettes. I scored. Literally, my charity shop uh, that I usually go into regularly unfortunately has now got rid of the four pound uh, cassette. So you buy four cassettes for a pound. They now have gone back to 50p. I can see why. Good stuff. Anyway, first of all, car boots our first one of 2016. We have these bootleg tapes. First of all, we have a Pink Floyd. I did not have. A momentary lapse of reason. I did not have this one. Okay, here is the actual cassette. I have no idea what label brand this is or what name it is. The only bit of information you get is this little tag thing up here. And like I say, I have no idea if that's legit, if it's like a fake thing, if it's like a freebie thing, I don't know. The other thing you may have noticed, it doesn't have which side it on. So I'm going to have to actually write which side it is, or I'm going to have to make a little note. So I might uh, not mark it, but you know, put a little note. Next up we have Led Zeppelin, Coda, yet another one that I didn't have. Same label as the uh, Pink Floyd one. Again, no siding, so I have no idea which side's which. This is about the only decent one, which seems to have uh, legitimateness. Aerosmith Permanent Vacation. I say I'm getting into different music, and Aerosmith I've never actually listened to. As you can see, this one looks more legit, but I'm not sure. This is the cool one. This is obviously definitely a bootleg. It's Metallica and Justice For All. That's the actual album cover, but this one has the band's four faces. Now, this is pretty cool, and this is also on the Vertigo label. I thought Vertigo were outdated, like sort of like 70s, early 80s, and mostly stick with status quo. But this one is pretty cool. But again, it's also on that same KTB logo. So whether that was a thing, I don't know. Next up, we have some really good metal. This is Man O' War, and this is Kings of Metal. Really, really nice one. This, as you can tell, this one's definitely. They might not be bootlegs. A lot of like third-party countries, like Portugal, Spain, uh, New Mexico, and various other countries, didn't really have the copyright, so they would literally uh, sort of like get a boot, get a record of this, and then distribute uh, via bootleg stuff without the management knowing. Which again is okay if you're in that sort of country. Nowadays, it'd be illegal. They still do it, I don't know. Anyway, the next one, Man O' War. Fighting the World. Really nice album. This is really cool stuff. I've not listened to these yet. Oop, nearly lost it, but as you can see, same logo. Okay, those were at the car boot sale. Charity shop. Awesome finds, and I mean it. Okay, we have not one, but two Bruce Dickens solo albums. This is Balls to Picasso. This is the Iron Maiden lead singer, remember? Really good stuff. These were 50p each, not four for a pound. Like I say, unfortunately they have, because they've been getting some good stuff in. Well, haven't got any good stuff, but this is good stuff. They changed it up. This is Bruce Dickens, Accident of Birth. I think that's what it's called. 
Yeah, accident of birth. Really crazy Punch and Judy logo there. That is really awesome. Creepy as well. Next we have uh, Kiss My Ass. This is basically Kiss songs, but done by like other bands. And it is really cool. I thought it was like, oh, just another Greatest Hits album. But no, this is actually Kiss albums. So I know two people out there that are sort of like going to be very interested. They might have these already, I don't know. But anyway, this is cool because I, I've never actually heard anybody cover a Kiss song. But this is good. There is one, I think the first track, Dunce, is done by Lemmy. But Lemmy Solo, not Motorhead, Lemmy Solo. As it says uh, his full name. Kid Ugly Joe, Motel California. Really cool, nice Pontiac GTO there. Pretty cool. Like I say, I paid 50p a piece for these. And then we have Little Angels, Young Gods. Do you know, I was recently watching this. Or watch, I was recently seeing one of these. On the VHSs I now have. This is Metal Hammer. A VHS. So it's VHS. Oh, I have watched this. And yeah, this actually did have uh, those in. Not that album. Also as well has God on it as well. A very young Lemmy. And he's talking about uh, his latest one, which is... Uh, March or Die, which is the um, film track to uh, Hellraiser 2 or 3. It's one of those two, in which case you get snippets of it. It's very cool indeed. Saxon, Power and Glory. This is basically uh, best of. This is sort of like from, uh, I think this is from like the early 80s, when they were first, yeah, 83 to 88. So this is pure 80s power ballads. That's going to be good to listen to. And the final VHS one for today, music-wise, is Elvis Jailhouse Rock. You'd be surprised how expensive Elvis VHSs are. I paid 50p for this. On eBay or Gumtree, which is basically Craigslist UK, they are selling for huge prices. I mean, sort of like, even like about five or six Elvis videos. They're like about 30 plus quid. Yeah, 30 plus quid. If you have like a complete set, that's sort of like in the hundreds plus. Anyway, that is pretty much it. Really good haul. I might not be getting so much anymore, but I'll definitely be sort of like updating. I didn't really go for any records at the car boot sale because I just don't have the time. I mean, you've got to think, do I spend it on this or do I spend it on this? And I'd much rather sort of like have uh, cassettes and CDs than records because uh, over here is a shelf and there is one, two and about two quarters. Underneath the desk here is more records. So yeah, I'd probably say I've got at least over, I think 300 records plus and growing. Mostly a mixture of music, organ, classical, uh, organ, uh, rock and roll, stuff that I like really. Anyway. Thanks for watching. See you next time.